Hello and welcome. Today's video is part of Kendra's Card Challenge 13, in which we will be featuring one of our super sponsors, Gina K Designs. Now today I'll be working with Gina K Designs. I've got an art stencil here, and this is called Flower Garden. And I'm going to be using it for sketch one of Kendra's Card Challenge. Now I've got some of uh, Gina K's inks off to the side there. There are actually three, and I'll be bringing in two. And I'm just getting the stencil lined up. It's a six by six stencil, and I've got a six by six piece of hammer mill cardstock. And I'm gonna bring in some of my green mint tape and get it taped down just so it won't move around on my glass board as I'm stenciling. And I'm gonna bring in, um, I'm gonna use sea glass and just bring in one of my blending brushes and it's a, it's a new one, so I'm really trying to get some ink on there. It hasn't been used yet. So I'm just gonna get to blending, and while I'm blending, let's talk about the giveaway. So this is a giveaway hop in which um, Kendra is providing a giveaway gift, and it's a digital download. And you can enter to win that by clicking the description box below and filling out the giveaway form. Now, you can fill, fill out a giveaway form on each designer's page in the hop. Um, there's also a link in the description box below to the full hop, and you can actually click on that hop list, and it'll just um, play each video along the hop. And you can also, like I said, fill out um, on each designer's web page for the chance to win the giveaway. So I, let's get back to the card here. Now I'm just stenciling this all up and getting it all um, colored the way that I want to and just using this the sea glass um, ink for it. And I'm going to do the big reveal here and it looks really pretty. So what I'm doing here is I'm just creating my own pattern paper for sketch one. And for this card I've chosen just to do a single sketch and so I'm taking the sketch guide and using the dimensions that are on it to create my card. So I've already cut this panel down and I've also got the next layer that needs to go on there. And I'm gonna take this Breath of Sunshine Silhouette Stamp from Gina K and I'm gonna use it on my little triangle piece that I've got there. I'm just gonna bring in my Misty and use that little piece of uh, hammer mill cardstock that I've cut down according to the cutting guide. Just lay it on my Misty. And I'm taking this silhouette here and I'm just going to get it lined up. Now it's bigger than the actual area that I'm going to stamp on, but that's fine. It'll still make a nice presentation. Now I'm going to bring in Tranquil Till, which is a darker till than the sea glass. And I'm going to get this inked up and then I'll get it stamped down. This is a fairly simple card, but I think it really looks very pretty. It has, um, it's very clean and not a very busy card. And I think it just, it's simple but elegant. So it looks like I need another inking and I'm just kind of brushing that mini ink pad on there and then blotting it. And I'm just gonna stamp it again and I think it'll be a good clean stamping that I can use. Isn't that pretty? I just think that's really pretty and I think that'll look really nice on there. So I'm just going to clean out my stamp. I like to get my stuff cleaned up and ready for the next use and just lay it aside and then I'm going to bring in my rubber, my little silicone rubber mat there and I've got some more of that hammer mill cardstock and I'm just taking that Tranquil Till ink pad and I'm creating my own colored cardstock. This sketch, sketch one, calls for um, some quarter inch strips that I'm going to outline that um, panel with. And you can see in the design here, this is what I'm creating. And I wanted it to be the same color as the flowers that I inked. So I just used the Tranquil Till and created my own cardstock and then I cut my strips. 
Now I'm bringing in a top folding card base. Now this design calls for a landscape. Uh, the picture, it's pictured as landscape, I should say. So I'm modifying it a little bit and I'm making a top folding card. So that means I'm going to turn my panel and lay it down um, in a portrait style. Now I also brought in this um, cobblestone stencil of Gina K, and I embossed another white panel. And I'm going to lay that directly down on my card base and then I'll layer my stenciled pattern paper on top of that. And I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. So if you haven't played Kinder's Card Challenge, I'd like to encourage you to do it. It is a lot of fun. You can take six six by six uh, pieces of patterned paper, follow her cutting guide, and yield 15 cards. So it's a quick way to really get yourself um, 15 cards made and um, really use up your six by six pattern paper. All the information to um, try out the challenge is linked in the description box as well as the information for the giveaway. So I've got that laid down on there and you can see the, the detail of it. And I, I did miss spray that paper before I embossed it. Now you can see I'm spinning it around and I've decided I want to cut my panel down a little bit more than what the sketch is calling for because I'd like to see a little bit of that cobblestone. So I went and took another quarter of an inch off of that. Now you can make these your own. You're completely at liberty to, you know, make it a little bit smaller, adjust it, make, you know, flip it, change it, um, and kind of make it your own. These are just a starting point, just to give you an idea of some cards to make. So I'm going to take that panel that I stamped and just lay it down there, kind of in the center of my other panel, my stenciled panel, and get it where I want to. And then I'm going to bring in my strips, and I'm going to outline my little panel with my strips. I've got four strips there but I think I only use two and um, I've, so I'll have two more if I want to use them for something else. I may have to make another one of these cards. I liked it so well. Um, and so I am decided I'm going to just trim off that strip. Um, sometimes when you're making those thin strips it's hard to get them exactly even and so I thought well I know these two are the same so I'm just going to use them and then I'll pick from the others and try and find one. I think some of them are slightly thicker than the other ones. Um, and I'm going to just pull this one in and just get it laid down and and then I'll have my little floral silhouette framed with this tranquil till cardstock that I created. And just trim that one off and then we'll glue down the the final piece on that and there we have it now we just need to trim off the excess and then we'll be able to get it laid down on our card panel I like the kind of monochromatic look you know the two the lighter and then the darker now I'm going to pop this one up as well. It's a pretty flat card with just the panels on there. So I'm going to have actually two layers of foam since I popped up that embossed cobblestone panel. But I, it's still perfectly fine to mel. And I'm just cleaning up my desk and then pulling off the backing and then we'll get this laid down and see how this all comes together. I think it looks really pretty. I hope you like it too. So now I'm just bringing that set back in and I'm going to pull in some sentiments that say thankful for you and with love. And I'm going to um, just bring in my Misty again and that piece of paper that I created my um, tranquil till cardstock with and I'll just get those two things stamped down. I'm thinking I'll put one on the outside of the card and then one on the inside of the card. So we'll get them lined up and I'm going to grab that tranquil till ink pad again and just get them inked up and that's what we'll use for our sentiments. 
Now with your fine sentiments, you just want to go easy with them because you don't want to blur the lines, I guess, and just um, give them a gentle inking. And it's better to probably press ink twice and press gently than to get heavy handed and smush it. So we'll just get that pressed down. And we've got with love and thankful for you. And then I'll bring them in. And I've decided that I'm going to put the with love on the outside of the card. And I'll bring in some eighth of an inch foam tape and just lay this down on the front of our card. I'm just going to use the put it in the lower right hand area of it. And I think that looks good. Now I'm going to take the thankful for you and put that on the inside of the card. Now I think you could use this card for just about anything because you're sending it with love and you're thankful for the person. So there's lots of opportunities to use this card. So I'll just get that laid down on there. And then I was thinking, I've got a piece of that stencil that I cut off when I trimmed this down. And I'll just bring it back in and put it on the inside of my card. And that way I've got some of the outside design brought into the inside. And I think that is a nice touch to it. So that finishes up my card. I appreciate you watching and I hope that you'll win. And don't forget to fill out the links in the description box. Have a great day.